Hi, my name is Hanna from Thrive Teams and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make the upside down homepage from Brian Harris. Brian has been talking a lot about the effect of this homepage on his list building efforts and some of you have asked us if we could build a template in Thrive landing pages. Well, I'm going to do better, I'm going to show you how exactly you can build it yourself so that you know the next time when you want to build a landing page that you like, how you can do it from scratch. The first thing that is important, if you want to start creating a landing page or sales page or any page that you like, is that you look at the page in blocks. So we are going to see what elements are important on the page. Here, the first element is a big section with an image, title, subtitle and a call to action button that is actually a two-step opt-in form. So these are the most important elements above the fold. Next we have the logos to have some social proof and then we have another section so that's the third section with a three column layout and with three new buttons that are also two-step opt-in buttons. The fourth section is an article about the author and at the end we'll find again a call to action and why this is called an upside down homepage it is because the menu is all on the bottom of the page. So these are the elements that we want to have on our landing page. Let me show you exactly how you can create this with the Thrive landing page plugin. Create a new page on your website and go to the Thrive Content Builder. When you do this, you will have an empty page on your website that doesn't look like a landing page at all. If you are using a Thrive team on your website, you have the possibility to choose a landing page immediately or to choose a full width page. But because I'm not sure that everybody has a Thrive team on his website, I'm going to show you how you can do it even if you have another team installed. So only with the Thrive Content Builder and with the Thrive Landing Pages plugin. To do so, you have to choose a landing page. So go to Thrive Landing Pages, choose Landing Page. And here we're gonna start from the flat landing page. Now you might be thinking that this landing page doesn't look at all as the homepage that we want to create and it's true, but it has all the elements that we need. So let's go. First of all, the first thing you need is a full width section with a big image, title and a call to action button. Because we are going to need five different sections, I'm going to start by copying this section and using the first one. So you can simply take out the logo, click on the section and select a background image. Now the other elements we'll need in this section are a big title, two subtitles and a two-step opt-in form. So let's start with a big title. Take a paragraph text element, drag it onto the section and put your title. Now we can change the color of the fonts, the size, and we can align it in the center. So this is our big title. Next, let's put in a subtitle. So we take again the text element, click on it, and we can change the color of the element, the alignment and the size. And let's do that one more time for the last subtitle. Now what we need is the two-step opt-in form. For this, we are going to put a button on the page and we are going to link it to a light box. So first choose button and we can change every visual element of this button. So choose style one, a normal one. I selected a blue color that I like. As you can see here, you can really personalize everything. 
and we're going to align it in the center. Because this is going to be a two-step opt-in button and not an add to cart, I'm going to change the text. And this is the most important element above the fault, so we can make it a bit bigger. Now we already have the most important elements of this first section. I'm just going to tweak a little bit with the margin to make sure that it looks nice. Now let's connect the button to the opt-in form. To do this in Thrive Landing Pages, you have to click on the button, choose the Event Manager and add an event. The trigger will be on click, so if somebody clicks on the button, and the action that you want to happen is to open a Thrive Lightbox. If you have Thrive Leads, you can choose a Thrive Leads Thrive Box, which will allow you to have stats and more in-depth analytics. But for the moment, if you only have the Thrive Landing Pages, then you, can, then you have to choose for the Open Thrive Lightbox. Here we can select the Lightbox or we can generate a new landing page lightbox. So that's what we're going to do. This one is called Demo Flat and we can edit it. As you can see, this is the same drag and drop editor as you already know from the landing pages that you can use for the opt-in form. The free report we are advertising here is the guide to create persuasive opt-in forms. So I'm going to make that a little bit more permanent and I'm going to use the same gray as on the page. And here, of course, I can change the color of the button to make sure that it fits. The look and feel of the page. Once you are happy with your opt-in form, don't forget to connect it with your email provider. This is pretty easy. You click on the opt-in form and you click on connect with service. This will open a new screen that will allow you to connect with API or with HTML with your email provider. I'm not going to show it here in this video because it's different for every email provider, but you will find all information you need in the knowledge base and in the help section. Also, if you want to change the text that appears here in the opt-in form, so such as first name and your email, or if you want only to ask for an email address, that also happens the moment you connect with your email service. Now with that said, click Save Changes and you can close the page. First, select your lightbox, which is the upside down demo flat that we just created, and then click on Save Event. Let's save and preview this page. So as you can see, when you click on the button, on the download for free button, there is an opt-in form that shows. The next section of this homepage was the uh, social proof section. So with the logos of the different sites where you have been uh, featured. So again, copy this section, take out the logo, click on it. We're going to change the background color to a darker gray. Okay. And here I'm simply going to add an image that I already prepared with logos where we have been featured. Put this image in the center and now we can play again with the margin to make this a little smaller and with the padding So this is the second section of the page. We already have the first one with the call to action button and the second one with the logos with the social proof. Now for the third section, we need a title and a three column layout. So let's do that. Just copy the section again. I will add a paragraph for the title. Change the font size. Align in the center, change the color. Okay, 
And next we're going to add the three column layout. So choose column layout, the three column layout one, and drag it here. In each column we need one title, so we take a paragraph, text element, drag it in there, and make this a title. Underneath the title we want an icon, This icon has to be bigger, so we can change the size of the icon from 40 pixel to 100. And I want it to have the same color blue as the button of my website. Next, I want another text paragraph. This text can be 24 pixels. Each time the text we can change if we want the color of the text, we can change the alignment. So here, this is just tweaking what I'm doing. And as you can see, every time I can just see what happens on the screen. So it's really very, what you see is what you get. And the last element in this column is another button. another button, change the style, align it in the center, change the color of the button that I want to be orange this time. And I'm going to change the text of the button. So link settings here, I can change the text of the button. And for the moment, we don't have to link it to anything because this is also going to become a two step opt in form. Now to add again a two-step opt-in form on this button, you will do exactly the same as I showed you for the first button in the first section. So I'm not going to bore you by doing this again, but remember, click on it, event manager, add an event and on click, open a drive light box. And here you can generate a new one. Now I'm going to tweak some margins and copy for the second and the third column. Now that we have the third section that's finished with the three column layout and the three opt-in buttons, we can go on and create the section with the text. So copy this one again. We're going to make this background white. Okay. And one thing that I'm going to do to make this part look better is to add a content container to avoid that the text will be full width. So add a content container. And when you click on the content container, you can change the width of the container. So here I'm going to put 860. So as you can see, the container became smaller. So now my text will only expand to this width which looks better on this page. As you can see, you have already a paragraph in here that's called your content here. So I'm going to use this one to put my title and then tweak it again. The next thing I want to do is to have a picture and uh, of the author and a little description of the author. And so to do this, I will use a column layout. I will use the one third, two third layout. 
that I put also in this content box. And I'm going to add an image element. And I want this to be a round image. So I click on the image and I can choose for the style. And here I can make it a circle and 100 pixels is big enough. And I'm going to outline it on the right. This text is not necessary. And this column two is also a paragraph, so I can put my text in there. And to make sure that it aligns with the photo, I'm going to change the margin on the top. So now I have a round image and the text nicely aligned in this content box. The next thing I want to add is the text. So again, a paragraph element in the content box, paste my text and I can change the size and the color. And now because I copy pasted this text, I'm going to add some paragraphs. Now that the text is done, we have to add a call to action button again. So choose a button, put it in there. And again, we can customize it. As for the other buttons, we are going to use this button as a two-step opt-in form. So when you click on it, event manager, etc. I think you know by now how it's done. And then there is just one last element that we need on this page. So this means that this one, we can just get rid of it. So now in this bottom section, what we want is a menu. And this is actually pretty easy to do with Thrive landing pages because you can simply choose for the element that's called widgets and custom menu and drag it onto your page. This logo we don't need, so we can erase it. And here you can see that you have a menu. So first of all, you can edit it so you can put it in the center of your page, you can change also again the colors of this element. So if I want a dark, a dark background with the white pages, this is possible. And what is important to know is that here you can change which menu will be shown. So here's main menu or like the one I created, which I named upside down menu. So this allows you to have only the pages that you really want on this page. To use this menu, you will have to go to your WordPress website. So go back to WordPress and go into the appearance menus. And from here, you have the possibility to create new menus. So you can choose create a new menu, select the pages that you want in it and give it a name. And then you will be able to choose here on the bottom of your page, the menu that you want. So that's it. We are actually ready with our upside down homepage. So I hope you liked this tutorial and that you see the power of Thrive landing pages and that you don't have to wait for us to make a new design, but that you can actually do it yourself. I see you soon over at Thrive Teams. And if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them below this video.